Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. The S&P 500 closed at an all-time high on Friday as investors returned to buying equities in force following a short-lived market stumble to start the new year. The broad market index rose 1.23%, surpassing both the prior rec- record intraday and closing highs from January 2022. Meanwhile, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which set its own record at the end of last year, added 1.05%. The Nasdaq Composite advanced 1.7%. The smaller, more tech-focused Nasdaq 100 gained 1.95% to also hit a record high. All three major averages are now in positive territory for 2024, with the 30-stock Dow going green during Friday's rally. Following a 19% loss in 2022, the S&P 500 roared back in 2023, posting a 24% gain as the economy skirted a recession that many had expected and inflation came down to levels that allowed the Federal Reserve to pause its interest rate hikes. The benchmark came close to reaching a record following a forceful fourth quarter rally, but ultimately fell short. The market rally paused a bit to start 2024 as investors took some profits in the big tech leaders like Apple, but they returned to buying those tech leaders in recent days. Friday's milestone confirms that the stock market is officially in a bull market that began in October 2022, not just a bounce back within a bear market. The S&P 500 is up more than 35% since that low. The tech sector gained 2.35% on Friday and more than 4% during the trading week making it the S&P 500's best performing sector week to date. Consumer staples and utilities were the only US sectors that closed lower. Fresh consumer data on Friday indicated that the consumers are becoming more confident on the economy and inflation. The University of Michigan survey of consumers showed a 21.4% year over year jump to reach its highest level since July 2021. Insurance company Travelers rose 6.7% after posting an earnings beat. Ali Financial surged over 10% after reporting strong quarterly results and a sale of business unit to Synchrony Financial. In crypto news, Bitcoin and Ether experienced gains in sync with the stock market's rally, driven by positive consumer sentiment and slowing inflation. Despite this bounce, Bitcoin is still set to record a 4% weekly loss and has fallen 10% since the approval of Bitcoin ETFs on January 10th. Ether is also on track to finish the week with a 3% loss, but these crypto movements did not significantly impact equities as several related stocks remained relatively flat. In commodity related news, oil prices saw a slight decline on Friday, but recorded a weekly gain due to heightened tensions in the Middle East. The West Texas Intermediate contract for February settled down 0.9%, while the Brent crude contract for March settled down 0.68%. U.S. crude achieved a one-week one week gain of 1%, with investors closely monitoring the possibility of supply disruptions resulting from militant attacks in the Red Sea, while the global benchmark increased by 0.47% for the week. Turning to the Australian landscape, with Australian economic data still a week away, traders are turning to offshore indicators. Notable reports from the U.S., including Q4 GDP and core PCE deflator, will influence monetary policy decisions. Additionally, New Zealand's quarterly consumer price index is expected to show a 0.5% increase, lowering annual inflation to 4.7%, below the Reserve Bank's forecast. The the SPY futures are pointing to a 0.4% rise. Thank you for listening.